Hi, this is John Palfrey. I'm coming to you from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I'm speaking in my capacity as the chairman of the Steering Committee, a nascent group that's been formed around the Digital Public Library of America initiative. And we are today announcing a new effort in the DPLA planning process, which is called the Beta Sprint. I wanted to talk for a few minutes on this video about the plan for a Beta Sprint, and also just to give a little bit of context for why we are taking on this new initiative right now. The Digital Public Library of America has a wiki online with lots of information about what we're thinking. We've also got a four-page concept note, which we've put online, which represents the latest thinking of this broad-based group. But beyond that, we are still very open about what we're, in fact, going to build in terms of a Digital Public Library of America. And one thing that's happened in the last several months of planning this initiative is that a number of people have come forward to us and said, we really just want to start building something and to be able to show an idea of what a Digital Public Library of America might look like. And it turned out that it was more than one group that came forward with this view, so that we were in a position where it would be tricky to decide up front who might be the one to build it. And we thought what we might do is to turn to the Internet community broadly, to the library community broadly, to the worldwide community, and say, if you have ideas for what a Digital Public Library of America could be, we'd love to see them. And to run a very short process where we encourage people to let us know in the next few weeks that you are interested in doing this by sending us uh, a letter to the steering committee of the DPLA, and the information will all be up on our wiki online. And a simple Google or Baidu or other search will come up with the, uh, the uh, website for the DPLA uh, as well. And uh, once you have told us that you're going to do this, we would encourage you then for the next several months to run a process where you yourself build out some aspect of what a DPLA might be. And I could imagine that this could take the, um, a number of different forms. So in the course of a few months, you might come up with a series of PowerPoint slides, a very, very simple mechanism for describing to us what a DPLA might look like. You might also build a full-fledged application, something that would demonstrate somewhat more actively what a DPLA could be. So we're open to a wide range of different uh, approaches to demonstrating in this beta sprint what a DPLA could be. We'd also encourage you to think about different aspects of a DPLA. So I could very much imagine somebody looking hard at what a database structure might look like, or someone might look at what protocols might uh, be in terms of the way in which one was structured. One might look at how different communities might interface with a DPLA. One of the things we've seen a lot in the discussion list online, which is open and you're welcome to join the discussion list as well, is discussion about whether or not academic libraries, research libraries, and public libraries all have the same needs and whether or not there should be one interface or many interfaces. So this seems to me a chance where people could pick up any number of these different aspects of things and demonstrate in a public way what a DPLA might be. And what we're going to do with it is we will uh, ask people to send to us by September 1st, 2011, the results of their uh, beta sprint efforts. And the steering committee will take a look at these uh, various submissions, and we look forward very much to seeing what, what we receive. We will also be setting up an external group of people who have particular technical expertise as well as some other skill sets that we think ought to read on this process. And then with the advice of that expert group, we're going to select a few of the beta sprint uh, participants to present at a public big tent meeting that we're thinking of hosting in early fall, probably October and probably in Washington, D.C. So at the end of this, we would have from a group of uh, partners, we hope people will form collaborations in order to come up with beta sprint entries. We'll have a series of submissions that we will then uh, be putting online and encouraging people to play with and experience in various ways. And we will look forward to a public discussion in this, uh, roughly speaking, October meeting where we'll uh, talk about how to go forward with a DPLA. And in a broader context, we also expect that there will be a fair amount of homework that will be going on in terms of defining what a DPLA is in particular. We have various work streams, um, five or six or seven. We're refining the exact number, and all that work is going on on the wiki today. And the beta sprint, in a way, will run in parallel to that early work going on. We would then Im imagine that, roughly speaking, 18 months after the October meeting, which we hope will be something of a kickoff, we would then, in fact, have an operative DPLA 
initiative that would actually have a prototype, something people could be using and which would uh, be, in fact, a boon to the people of uh, the United States and beyond, I hope. So that's the idea behind the beta sprint. We're very hopeful that we will get a lot of innovative ideas submitted through this mechanism. And again, we encourage a range of different approaches. We encourage a range of different slices of the uh, of the stack, of the um, if you want to think about the technology as a matter of layers. And we certainly encourage a broad range of people with different viewpoints to submit ideas and to help us to envision what a digital public library of America could be. And I'm very eager to review your submissions. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, as John Palfrey signing off for the steering committee of the DPLA, thank you so much.